A woman named Kelly Staub wanted to share this message with the public and get it out there more. So we're going to do that here on Dundalk TV right now. Here's her Facebook post. This is a long one, but please read for the sake of your children or loved ones attending Grange Elementary School in Dundalk, Maryland. Yesterday, May 10th, 2018, my youngest niece, who attends Grange Elementary School, located in Dundalk, Baltimore County, was sitting on the carpet in class, waiting to use the restroom, when one of her classmates, a known disruptive male child, came up to her out of nowhere and punched her in the face. Last week, the very same male child stabbed their teacher in the back with a pencil. My niece was sent to the nurse's office immediately, checked out, and sent back to class. She was brought back one hour later to ensure that her eye was still okay. Let me remind all of you that my niece's mother and my brother had not been notified whatsoever the whole entire time and only received a call when my niece requested to speak with her mommy. My brother had a meeting today, if that's what you want to call it, with the principal, Mrs. Nancy Wenzel Hill, vice principal, Mrs. Rachel Davis, and school nurse, I'm not sure of her name. My brother was told that this child would not be removed from the classroom as he is actually in class today. Yet, they could place my niece in another class for now. But hold on, it gets better. He was also told that they do not have to release any information to my brother or my niece's mother about the incident and that this situation would not be escalated since my niece, quote, doesn't have a black eye today, unquote. Fellow friends, I am outraged. Anyone who knows me knows that my nieces are my world. I am also a registered nurse and very well aware of mental health disorders, behaviors, etc. My issue in this matter does not solely lie with this male child, but with the people who are supposed to protect and keep our children safe the principal, and vice principal. I am writing this today to help protect my nieces, your children, and any other children who attend Grange Elementary School. The Baltimore County Schools Positive Behavior for Student Conduct Policy, Policy 5510, states, It is to be used to develop and implement a school-wide positive behavior plan designed to change behaviors, reduce suspensions, and keep students in school. The plan is to be a component of the school progress plan. Furthermore, students shall be expected to behave appropriately in school and while participating in school-sponsored activities. The principal, assistant principals, teachers, and staff shall teach students the school's code of conduct, routines, procedures, and discipline process. Where was the principal and vice principal when my niece got punched in the face? Where were they when their innocent teacher was stabbed in the back with a pencil? What is it going to take to keep our children safe? Please, friends, help me share this story and make other parents and community members aware. The violence and the bullying within our school system has got to stop. Thank you so much in advance, and God bless. Well, thank you, Kelly, for this very nice message. And I absolutely agree with you. Dundalk TV agrees with you. It's ridiculous what's going on in the school system, right in our backyards. They should receive discipline. They should not be able to get away with violent behavior. It'd be another thing if it was mean words, but this is breaking rule number one, which is keep your hands to yourself. So I hope the matter is resolved and I hope the principals get their priorities straight and stop playing softball with bullying.